The intact ovulate cone is seen to consist of numerous spirally arranged scales called oviliferous scales. A closer look at a single spiral reveals that the cone is a compound structure. For each oviliferous scale has a small bract fused to its lower surface. The upper surface of an oviliferous scale contains two ovules. Each ovule has an outer protective layer or integument. An opening in the integument, the micropyle, consists of a canal that terminates in two micropylar arms, each covered with a sticky secretion. Beneath the integument, there is a fleshy megasporangium containing a diploid megasporocyte cell. When the ovulate cone is ready to receive pollen, the oviliferous scales separate from one another, exposing the ovules within. Carried by air currents, some pollen grains are forced between the oviliferous scales. Once inside the cone, the pollen grains fall down towards the ovules. Some of the pollen grains come into contact with the micropylar arms and adhere to their sticky surface. The megasporangium secretes a fluid which fills the micropyle. This is the pollination drop. Pollen grains on the surface of the micropylar arms are transferred to the pollination drop. The pollination drop soon recedes, leaving all pollen grains located on the surface of the megasporangium. At this time, the micropylar arms wither and the micropylar canal closes, effectively sealing the pollen grains inside the ovule. The scales of the cone grow together, sealing the ovules inside a tough, protective barrier. 